I actually unscrewed this on a trailer one time and the water pressure shot out anode and doused me with water. Today I'm gonna check the anode rod on this new trailer we just purchased and also flush out any scale that's in the uh, water heater. These anodes keep things from corroding in the water heater. It's a sacrificial element and anode will get eaten away over time so you have to replace it otherwise if it's completely gone then it starts eating away the inside of the water heater tank. Every time you drain the water heater you should check it because that's actually how you drain the water heater. So if you never drain the water heater you will never know how bad your anode rod is. So this one I already know is bad because I took it out but I put it back in just so we could see how it comes out so you won't see any water coming out this time. But when you do it make sure you don't have water pressure. Tell me how I know this. I actually unscrewed this on a trailer one time and the water pressure shot out anode and doused me with water. It takes a 1 and 1 16th inch socket and uh, you just unscrew it. So yeah usually for us since we use the trailer so frequently the only time I um, drain the water heater is part of our winterizing process because I don't want to leave water in the water heater tank where it could freeze and expand and crack it or cause a leak. So some people when they winterize part of the process is they put the pink antifreeze in throughout the system. Um, we don't do that because it doesn't get quite that cold here and we do still use the trailer frequently in the winter. Also that pink antifreeze can be a little bit of a job to get it all out and get everything flushed. So we usually just drain the water heater and the lines and if I know we're not going for quite a while I'll actually hook up a uh, fitting to the water inlet that you can hook an air hose up to and it'll blow most of the water out. I'm going to remove this anode rod so I can check its condition and then also flush out the scale in the water heater tank. And as you can see, this one is way past due. I'll show you when we get the new one out, but this is really bad. It shouldn't look anything like that. And then this white stuff is some of the scale that came out when I first took the anode out. I want to make sure I, I have a little adapter that goes on the end of the garden hose that'll rinse a lot of that out. The tool I'm using is just a little plastic thing that goes on the end of the hose and it's made specifically for flushing water heaters or RV water heaters. So it has a little curve on the end that helps you clean that out almost like a dental tool or something. To prevent leaking, Doug used some Teflon tape at the base of the anode and he wrapped it around three times. Three. Okay, these can be a little bit tricky to get the thread started because the weight of this, it's going to want to go like that. So it does take a little bit of effort to hold it straight enough to get the thread started. And then once you get it started, you can turn it by hand with this. The main thing is you don't want to cross thread that and force it in. You'll damage the threads. Then you end up buying a new water heater. We use the Camco water heater flusher and we'll put a link to it in the description. So if you want to see more trailer maintenance videos, check out this video.